Alright, hello and welcome to your ninth Expression 2 tutorial. This one is going to be about timers. So, let's create a new expression, and I'm just going to name it Timer. Or no, I'm going to name it Rocket, because that's what we're going to make. Um, let's see, delete these, because we don't, we don't actually need them. Alright, so timers are pretty much, they're, they're what you would expect, right? They're, when you create a timer, it goes off after an amount of time. That's, you know, how timers work, so... You sh that shouldn't really be much of a surprise. Hopefully it isn't. Um, and they work almost the same way in this, except, of course, you might want to have more than one timer, right? So all you have to do is give it a name. So, for example, if I were to type timer, because that's the timer function, and then I type um, launch, like that. And then I put a comma, and then I type the number of milliseconds I wanted to go, or how many milliseconds after I start the timer I wanted to go off. So let's say I wanted to go off 10 seconds, so that's 10,000 milliseconds like that. Okay, and that is all you have to do to start a timer. You call the timer function, you name it, and you give it a number of milliseconds that you want it to run for. And again, I don't need those either. Um, so now, in 10 seconds, it'll go off, the, the launch, it'll, it'll come back to this expression, and it will let it know that launch was the cause of the, the triggering. Of course, you might want to be able to tell what the cause is. So to do that, there's this statement. It's there's this function called CLK, and all you have to do is type in the name of the function or the name of the timer that you cre created below. And this what this expression here, it will return one if it was caused by this timer, and it'll return zero if the execution was not caused by this timer. So normally you'd use it in an if statement like this. And now, what this is, is if the execution this time was caused by this timer, then do whatever is in here. And so that we don't get, like, an infinite loop of, uh, like, timers going off, I'm going to put, to put else and then start the timer here. So what it'll do is it'll run through here, and if execution was caused by launch, then do stuff here, which we'll get to in a second. Um, and if it wasn't, then start the timer. So pretty much when I create this, it will start the timer, then in 10 seconds it'll go here and do something. So, what do we want as an output? Well, we have a rocket, so we should probably have a launch output, right? And then all we really need to do here is just set launch to 1, because, you know, we want it to launch now. So, uh, how should I build this rocket? Um, let me just make it simple. Okay. So I'm going to have this, like, wooden dock pole thing. I'm going to get me a thruster. So, there. Uh, maybe not quite so large, to be honest. There we go. That's a nice size. Yeah, what could... Er, more force. There we go. Okay, what could possibly go wrong? And now all I need to do is put my expression on the top. And... Put that there. Although it's... Yeah. All right. So, if you, we just look at this in the debugger, uh, we should see in like 10 seconds, yep, there it is, it'll go off. So, I mean, that's nice, but is this is it really suitable for a rocket? No, it's not, because it's from when I spawn it. I don't want it to go off when I spawn it, I want it to go off when I, when I like press a button or something. So, instead of doing else here, I'm going to do if launch button, so at inputs. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but for, for um, if statements, if the value of whatever is in this part is 1, then that counts as true. Therefore, if I have an input called launch button, and the button's value is 1, then it'll count as being on. So, let's put this here, and then let's get ourselves a button. Let's see, input... There we go. Alright, lost it for a second. Um, Let's see the power button because these are the nicest looking. And now we just have to wire launch button to that. And now or actually I didn't wire the the thruster, did I? Okay, wire the thruster to launch. And now, when I press this button, then in ten seconds this thing will go off. So it'll just sit here for a little bit. Till it goes off. There we go. See, it works. And now I'm going to reset, reset the chip, and then I'm just going to un unfreeze this and actually, like, let you see the whole thing in action. 
But, you know, it's probably not going to be anything you didn't expect, so. Oh, shit. Should have known that was going to happen. Bloody fucking... Well, the, there's a rocket for you, eh? Oh, there, oh right, because it just went off because the button was on. All right, well, <laughs> there you go. It flies really fast, actually. And that's pretty much timers. Uh, there's a couple other time things, but I'll probably get to them in another video because they're not that important or, or difficult. You can probably just look them up. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.